Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us today for Deborah Cobelt Live. I have three guests in studio with me. I've got Saskia Chiesa. You are with the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue. You're an yes. incredible woman. That's all I can say. And our other two guests, we've got Opal and Eddie. Yeah. Yes. Right Hello, here. and they are eating up a storm. They're having they lunch. What are. did I say? I said, I'm hungry. Can I have one of their carrots? I'm really, I didn't have any lunch yet. I'm really starving. They are adorable. Can we see them both, Kurt? We can see them both. We can see them both. They are so cute. My God, Good. do they eat? They've just well, been. That's, what, that's why they call them pigs. Guinea pigs love to eat like pigs. Mm -hmm. Pigs, we have pigs too, like real big pigs, and they, trust me, they also like to eat. And guinea pigs just kind of, you know, they match that. Seriously, as you can see, it's just eat, 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 eat. So I always say they They're eat, adorable. poop, and sleep. They eat, eat, poop, and sleep. Poop, and sleep. Now there's a pet you want, right? <laughs> um, so you started the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue. Yes. Why? You've got about 200 guinea pigs there, am I right? Right now we do, yes. That's crazy. And you rescued all of them? Yes. How did that happen? What if people go to the pet store, they think they're cute, then they can't handle the guinea pig and they end up with yes. you? Yes. Yeah, unfortunately oh. that does happen. Mm. Um, so we have actually a, a, a surrender list, a private list as we call them, from private people that want to surrender. And then we also have all the shelters that keep getting guinea pigs in. So we, we have all those in our sites as well. So the minute we have a space, never goes wasted because we will be able to invite someone from the list or we'll go to the shelter and rescue them. I mean, it's just a, it's a constantly ongoing thing. I can't stop looking at them. They're going to be done with this piece of lettuce in a minute. You have others, I hope. I do, I do. You have more, I mean, carrots? I get, they're waiting for, to do the carrots, but I've been watching. That's this piece favorite. of lettuce was like this big. Now it's down to this in about not even five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wow. Know. What do they, they eat? Do. Well, lots of veggies. They mm -hmm. eat lots of veggies. They eat pellets um, and lots really of hay. Cute. These Wait, are two are different kinds of for? guinea pigs, though, right? Because one's they got this are. gorgeous long hair. It looks like she just came out of yes. the salon. Yes, she did actually just get a haircut. She came in very mad at this Saturday, actually. She Matted? was com Yes. That's um, awful. Very neglected. So that happens a lot with the long hair guinea pigs. People think they're cute and, oh, my gosh, it's so pretty. And then totally forget that you do actually have to brush those. And you do want to make sure that, the, that, that this side is trimmed. You know, here especially gets really mad at. So we get that a lot. I got some videos on that well, as well. Hang we on a minute. Long Opal hair seems pigs. to be standing on top of Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> right? She's not going to, like, no. crush him or anything? No. And They're like actually, little friends. They're so cute. I know. I know. And he, they, this one will actually do that on purpose. We'll go underneath because it's kind of it's hiding. It's cozy. It's like, cozy. How and old she's is being the little very one? nice because they're not related. And she's letting him because she's actually very quiet, very gentle, sweet guinea pig. It's a oh, bit of a Buddha, adorable. a Buddha pig. I really? Call those. So guinea pigs have different personalities. Yes. Very much so. They do. Mm. Yeah. Tell me about yeah. that because people don't know about guinea pigs. They know yeah, about I cats know. and dogs. It's, it's a, a little bit about bunnies. But not too much about the guinea pig, tell me. Yeah, it's amazing how there is such a misconception about guinea pigs, really, because people just think, oh, it's a, it's a pet for kids, and, you know, uh, if, if it dies, well, you just replace it. It's like one Ugh. of those, you know, and they call them pocket pets. It also kind of indicates that, uh, you know, it, they're not taken as seriously as a dog or a cat. Um, but, yeah, they, they are... They have tons of personality. I have four guinea pigs that I have myself, my own boys. That only four. I only have four, believe it or not. <laughs> and I call them Buddha pigs because they are actually very zen in their whole attitude. Now, if you put two male guinea pigs together, they will get very excited and start chasing around each other and sniffing each other's butts like dogs do, actually. Um, and my boys don't do that. So they're very different. They're really in that respect. chill. Do so, they cuddle up with you? You know, they're not like they're going to want to cuddle like a dog or a cat would. They mm -hmm. don't do that. But they do really enjoy being pet, though. So one of their favorite things is actually if you if you kind of pet them on the top of their head like this. Mm. And I don't know if she she does it, but they'll close their eyes and they'll kind of put their head Well, you like got that. her in the middle of eating. It's like, yeah. hey, wait. It's like, look, <laughs> right? do that to me when I'm in the middle of dinner. I'm not just going to stop and go like, oh, I don't know, maybe I would. Right. But <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Um, but if you pet them, often they'll, you know, they'll just calm down once you're holding them. A lot of people like to just watch TV with their guinea pigs and watch a movie or a TV show. And certain guinea pigs that are really tame, if you pet them, hmm. they will purr. And that's, that's Is that something right? people don't know. Yeah, they'll purr like a little bit like that. They vibrate their whole little body. And that's like, oh, I like it. Oh, I like it kind of thing. Where so. are guinea pigs native? From uh, South America. 
They are. Yes. They so they're brought America. up here as pets? Is that what it is? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Back in the 1500s, I think. They came from, uh, you know, merchants and stuff and, and, and from Europe, and they were brought over. And the term guinea, there is some talk about that possibly being because they used to sell them for a guinea or... You know, and then the pig, because they squeal like pigs. That's the other thing. Sometimes if you pick them up and they don't quite like it, they can really kind of squeal. Um, Eddie is squealing. Wonder if we have more. Do you hear Eddie squealing? Too. Yeah, he is actually saying, nah, I'm not sure about this whole situation here. That's what he's saying right now. Oh, he's definitely nice, talking. Eddie. He's adorable. He's like, oh, Look at him. Maybe he's a little scared. If you, but, but if you give me that your carrot, carrot. Then maybe I'll be okay with the. I can't know, believe they I'll, finished I'll be that quiet. piece of lettuce. It was enormous. It was I almost as big I, as I the should have some more. Actually. Oh, yeah, you do have more. Let me grab a little more. Uh oh. Oh, he did bring. Eddie is, is now left the uh, his his area. Oh, he's going into his house. Oh, I wish we had the camera on this. He's so cute. Eddie, come back, Eddie. Oh, my God. Look at this. You got the entire thing. Eddie, you don't let your lettuce. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Now, he's a baby. He's a little guy. He's a baby. He's four weeks old. And what kind is he? He's what you would call an American. So that's just a totally smooth-haired guinea pig. And then mm. she is called a Sheltie. And that's because she has long hair and her hair goes backwards. Whereas a Peruvian, for instance, they have this, the long hair with the parting in the middle. And right here as well, the hair doesn't go back. It kind of you know, parts in the middle, and then it goes forward. It's right all here. about the hair with these guinea pigs. It's I a totally see that. It's about the hair. So yeah. some part it in the middle, some part it to the right side. Now. Yes. You know, some have short hair. It's really just like people. There's a <laughs> a, a breed called Teddy, and mm. they actually look like little teddy bears. They really do, especially oh, that's when they're adorable. babies. They they are adorable, and the hair is kind of curly cute. I mean, it's just it's like a Brillo pet almost. How did you end up with two of them? at the rescue center, uh, two, two of them, 200 of them at the rescue center. That's actually nothing, because about a year and a half ago, we had almost 1,200. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So what, people clearly are buying them from pet stores. Yes, but you know, sometimes that is a, uh, can be a problem, because they'll buy from a pet store, they'll buy two guinea pigs, and they're told that it's a boy and a boy, and it turns out Oops. to be a mommy and a daddy, yes. And by Ooh. the time they have babies and by the time people realize, oh my gosh, you know, maybe I should take the girl away, it's already too late and we're on to the th second litter and the third litter. So that's how, how many fast in a litter goes. usually? Two to three usually. So, wow. but they can have litters of about eight or six or so, six to eight. I've seen that. I couldn't imagine in fact, having that many guinea pigs in my five, house. I think. Wow. Yeah. So you're trying, I know that they banned the sale, am I right, of bunnies? Yes. At pet stores? They did. Are you trying to do Angeles. the same type of thing here for guinea pigs as well? Yeah, or? I would love to do that. But it's, you know, that's like you go into legislation and you go into getting this uh, up to for a vote. And it's just not that easy. I mean, really, um, th that was the bunny people who did that. And they were amazing. They just awesome. And there's a bunch of them. There's the House Bunny Society. I mean, they're really organized. And I don't know why guinea pigs are not that as popular as bunnies, but they just, they're not. Well, what you said to me was, these guys, they eat, they poop a lot, and it's not like you can really train them where to poop, right? And they, they should roam around and have a large area, right? You can't just put them in a little cage. Right. And therefore, I think a lot of times when people get them, they're like, wait a minute, I can't ca take care of this guy. He's yeah. pooping everywhere, and then they decide to give him away, which is really a shame. Yeah. So what are the do's and don'ts if you really want to get Well, what is pig? interesting, though, yeah. uh, Deborah, is that bunnies are a lot more smellier than guinea pigs. Are. Oh, absolutely. I know that. My girlfriend has Did two of them. Did you have one? Bunnies? Yeah. My and girlfriend they are has really, two of them. It's a very strong pungent odor that guinea pigs don't have nope. at all. They're, they're adorable. Just not. Yeah. So, and their urine also is not as smelly. So I think that that should make it easier for a guinea pig to, you know, become, to, <laughs> to go precious. up in the popularity rates. But yeah, so no more bunnies in the pet stores, which I think is a great thing. Mm -hmm. um, so it would be wonderful if we can get that for the guinea pigs as well. I mean, I, I don't think that... Uh, animals have any um, business in any pet store being sold you know to be honest that's how I feel about it yeah I mean if you want to sell sell it's the same like the pet puppy food or whatever and, right that's great but to be selling oh, these little pets <laughs> there he goes into his little house he's so cute so you're going to be having on October 20th what a festival! Yes. Uh, a guinea pig festival. It's Tell our, us a little bit about that. It's our fifth annual guinea pig festival. I'm gonna give him here to my assistant. There, take care of him. Oh, he's so Eddie. cute. Should I hold him, or is he gonna go all over the place? 
Here, pass him down. I told you, you before. Sure? I'm a little. I'm a little nervous holding him because he's so he's tiny. A baby. And they don't bite. That's the other thing. Guinea pigs don't you know bite. Like this? Okay, go ahead. That's the best. Hi, sweetie. This is Eddie, right? Yeah, little Eddie. Hey. Hi, little Eddie. Yeah. If you keep him up against you, he'll be real comfortable. Yeah. He's blending in with my shirt. Yeah, very soft. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Oh, he's really cute. Hi, sweetheart. He's squealing. What is he is saying? He Get me out of I here. Really hear here, him. go ahead. Give him a little lettuce. You want that? I think he had his fill. Oh, he's so cute. Hi. So tell us about the festival. Yes, the festival. October 20th. Uh, we start at 10 and we close at 4. It's going to be all about guinea pigs, really. You know, You've got like a first, second, and third place trophies here. What are those for? Aren't you going to have little like contests with guinea pigs? Yes. What are you doing? Yes. So we have fastest eater, like what she's doing, for instance. Oh, I promise this one's going to win. We're going to weigh a bunch of lettuce, make it all the same weight, and then we're going to put... Um, you know, all the guinea pigs, they line up who are in the competition. And then we'll wait for the first one who finishes that piece of lettuce. So they'll immediately start eating because that's what they do. And it's just so fun to all watch them and to see all the kids all very excited because they're guinea pigs eating faster than the other one. And it's, oh, that's it's adorable. So, yeah. I'd, then, I'd also like to say that you don't just have guinea pigs there on your farm, right? What, do you, what else do you have there if people want to come and look? Yes, this is the best pooper. Sorry, I had to say that. I love the best. What is that? Well, okay. Who qualifies for best pooper? The biggest, the smelliest? So what? we do like <laughs> seven minutes or so where we put the guinea pigs and just leave them with some food. And then we come back and have a look and then we'll count the poopies. We don't have any poopies yet no, here. That is interesting because earlier there they were doing lots of poopies. <laughs> It's actually probably well, maybe they're pooped you, out. Like. I mean, you know, it's like, oh, <laughs> maybe so, they're pooped out. Yeah. Maybe. Or I hope this one doesn't poop on my hand. Maybe. Are you please don't. Do you want me to grab him? Um, no, I'm You're fine. Good? I, I like. I told you. Okay, in my house, we've got a dog, a cat, three lizards, two birds, and a fish. Um, so we're animal people. I get it. Okay, so it's fine. Good. If he poops, good. we'll clean it up. Good. Oh, yeah, he just wants to hide. He's yeah, kinda, he wants to hide in my he's shirt. Still a little insecure, Ooh. little little guy. Okay, so, so you're going to be having uh, contests with the little guinea pigs, teaching people about the guinea pigs and how to care for them, which is so important because then they don't end up with you right. and people giving them back. Right, exactly, um, exactly. I love that. And yeah. you've got, what are the kind of animals there? We have uh, we have a, a pony mule called Manolito. We have three pigs, like actual pig pigs, of which two are the really big farm pigs, the 650-pound hogs, wow. Pepe and Maria. So they're mm. the love of my life. I love those two. Oh. And I just love people coming to meet okay, them. Okay, here you go. <laughs> I don't think, he didn't even poop on me. That's there you good. go. There you go. Oh, here we go. There you go. Um, but you've got all kinds of, of animals, which is yeah. really nice. Chickens, How many lots acres of chickens. do you have over We only there? have two acres. Mm. And it's a really small, cozy kind of, you know, family farm, really. You know, it's uh, we always want to keep the energies all nice and, and peaceful and friendly. And, you know, I always love for people to come and, and come meet the animals, and especially the pigs. I love for people to meet the pigs. You know what I love about ones. you? Um, on your YouTube channel, you've got lots of videos on how to care for your guinea pig. Everything from cutting their nails to how they eat. I mean, it's very thorough. How did you develop such a love for guinea pigs? You know, it's the first guinea pig I held. I must have been probably about 17 years old. It was at a pet store. And I'm like, gosh, because I didn't really have pets when I grew up. It's probably mm. the problem why I ended up with so many. And there's far <laughs> full of animals. And right? looked anywhere between 200 and 1,200 guinea pigs. Yeah. Did they ever get loose, by <laughs> And the way? remind me to tell you how we how we got those that, that many also. There's a story there as well. Mm. Um, and I just fell in love. I was holding this guinea pig. And I'm like, oh, my God. I just... There was just this immediate, like, almost a recognition. Yeah. Like, you really man, connected to the animal. You yeah. are everything I ever hoped for. <laughs> wow, they're your children. And, yeah, and, and I just, I, I think I, you know, bought my first guinea pigs from the pet store and um, just, you know, look, they just got all this hair, all these different colors. Not one looks the same, you know, unless they're uh, 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 all smooth, smooth color. But uh, it just, just, it's fascinating to are me. Are they smart? It's just they're, yeah, they're smart, but not in a sense like a dog or a cat. But you can definitely they, they can't can be fetch taught. Your paper or anything. Yeah. No, oh. but you know what though? There's uh, there's some YouTubers actually that do some tricks with our guinea pigs, and it's quite amazing. Yeah, they make them do circles, and then they make them actually um, you know go to a platform at the other end of the room, pick something up, and then walk back, and um, put that but, little thing in in a little basket. And I mean, that's like a pretty 
you know, elaborate trick for but a basically, guinea pig. Basically, they're good company. They're beautiful. They're yes. beautiful. They really. I love this one's hair. What if yes. you don't cut the hair? What happens? Well, if you don't cut the hair, it's going to keep growing. So that's a wow. problem. Because well, Can it I will eventually. It? Yeah, absolutely. Hi. So it will eventually stop, but that kind of hair, it, it'll continue growing till it's about this long. Wow. So and you know when they. When they take them to shows, they do show cavies, um, and they have s special shows where you can bring them and uh, best in breed and whatever shows. They actually roll up the hair in rollers <laughs> in order to <laughs> oh my keep gosh. it nice. Yes. You, they roll the hair in rollers, and yes. they put them under little dryers and dry the well, hair. Well, I don't know about that. The but they keep them in the rollers so to keep the hair nice and, and off the ground so it doesn't get dirty so that they look nice on the day of the show. It's like what I did today. I think some dogs with long hair, they do the same thing, I oh, think. I think this one might be pooping. Is he pooping? I don't see it. Oh, maybe it's his foot. Do you want me to she, No, her? it's fine. <laughs> you want to give him a little piece of lettuce? I think she's there all, you go. all lettuced out. Oh, my. This one likes to eat. Oh, there you I got to tell you. So they tell us again a little really. more about what people can expect on the 20th of October. It's from, right. what are the hours? And it's, it's in where? Where's the farm? It's uh, from, we are in, located in Chatsworth, so mm -hmm. right off the 118. And it sounds really far, but if you know West uh, West Side, like Santa Monica. Or, or far at all. You it's can go not it's far. It's 35 minutes, seriously, when there's no traffic. And Sunday shouldn't be too crazy in the morning, so I think. No, but what I love is that you're going to be teaching people about guinea pigs and yes. how to care for a guinea pig. And yeah. What's their lifespan? It's six to nine, you know, six to nine, but like around five-ish, things are going to can start going wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely guinea pigs that are with owners that have done the research and really know how to care for them, they're going to live a little longer, I think, because mm. most guinea pigs, unfortunately, live in the smaller cages. They don't have a friend. They, they get lonely. Don't, they get very lonely. And psychologically, that's, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not good. You oh, know? They're beautiful. I was at a friend's house, and she, I think, had two of them. And they were in a cage that were probably too small. And we were there for dinner, and they were upstairs screaming. <laughs> and I thought, wow. And probably, as you told me, they may not have been caring for them properly. In other words, the cage might have been too small, right? You really have to know how to care for them properly. But right? that, what you're describing, that mm. sound, that is something that it's it's like weak, 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 like that, like weak, 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 weak. It was loud. It was loud. Yeah, it's got to be that. That's a specific sound they make that is only for their humans because it's telling oh. you, I want food, give me food. That's all that that is. Right, it's like, look, so they, I know you're eating down us. there, but bring some over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so but basically they're vegetarians, they eat vegetables. Yes, vegetables, they're total oh. vegetarians, vegans. He just had a hiccup. Oh, oh he's so cute, he's adorable. Well, thank you so much for being here. I love the little contest that you're gonna have for the guinea pigs. Yeah, that's gonna be You've super got the fun. Pooper. Oh, look, I brought you. I brought you bring me? stuff. I brought because we uh, I actually designed this myself. What and is that? This is called Piggy's Choice. That's our little brand that we have for the guinea pigs. That is so. Here, hold it up so people can see. So that is adorable. And what's that? Is that a makeup case? I swear to God, yes. I'll use it. Okay, yes. I'm going to use this. This is adorable. Oh, how nice of you! Yeah, I love this socks. one. This one's so cute. But I guess you've got to get two of them. Well, yeah. You don't really want to adopt think about just it one, and then come and, and adopt. Two of them. I would never do one. I would do two. Yes. Well, we actually don't allow just adoptions of one. Yeah. yeah. You're very so strict with two. the adoptions, aren't you? You know, not as strict as some of those dog rescues can be, where you, the, you know, it's like it's 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 harder to adopt a dog than it is to, to adopt a child, almost, right? You can. You I hear have that been sometimes. there. Well, my kids are really little. We, and like I said, we have a dog, and we had another dog. I, they were so strict. I yeah. thought, forget it. Yeah, I mean, they I sometimes even, go a little over the my top. My home was though. perfectly fine for a dog. Thank you. They're not going to pull yeah. the hair or whatever. And right. they were worried that I had three young boys. And my kids love animals. Yeah. And I was a little put off in a way because I thought, I hear that a lot. We're I, a loving family, a you know. Yeah. So it's almost like they were judging who was in our family, you know. Yeah, no. Um, but I mean, exactly. most rescues are wonderful. Please don't get me wrong about that. Yeah, no, exactly. But it was tough to adopt. That's exactly yeah. how I feel. But yeah, so we're not as, as, as tough like that. But we do require that you have the proper cage. That's a big one. So we, that's, that's the one we for sure want to make sure you have. But yeah, we're not going to go pry into your family life to see if it might be a good fit for you or not. That's not none of our business. <laughs> I love this little thing. He, she? She. She's Opal. just Yeah, and she's Opal. particularly, that's why I brought her. She's very quiet and very gentle. And I think she likes and that's me. Why, she's being very peaceful. Yeah, she's a very peaceful little oh, girl. Oh, little sweet Opal. And that's the thing, they're so gentle. That's the other thing that just strikes me. They're so gentle. 
gentle. They're so just innocent, really. You know, the innocence, I just, I love it. Well, thank you so much for being here. I think you're wonderful. So if people want to know more about the Los Angeles guinea pig rescue, how can they find you and get information and adopt? LAGuineapigRescue.com. Mm -hmm. Then there is also GuineapigFestival.com and YouTube. Yeah. If yeah you that have, YouTube if you channel is pigs, very good and very specific. You learn everything yeah. on there. So, yeah, if you have guinea pigs, then... I, even if you think you know it all, I'm sure there's going to be something on the channel that you didn't know that you're going to be grateful you now know. So I really recommend people go and, and, and have a mm. look at that. Well, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. And thank really you, appreciate Opal it. and Eddie. I love them. They're so cute. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Deborah Cobalt Live. So please, the Los Angeles guinea pig rescue. And don't forget, October 20th. She's got her big festival. You can find it on uh, social media to find out more about it. And uh, in terms of us, you can find us everywhere. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Apple Podcasts, um, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and honestly, everywhere else that you get your podcasts. So um, Opal and I say thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you next time on Deborah Cobalt Live. Bye.